everybody. I'm Ellie Plew with GuitarEdge.com. I'm here with Haas from Carnival. How you doing, buddy? I'm great, man. I'm very good. Good. So you're a very busy guy on the boards, and we just got done seeing an amazing show. Why don't you talk us through kind of what you got going on in your pedal board here? Sure, man. I mean, this is a sort of the basic sort of international rig that we run with. It's a little smaller than our Australian setup, but not by much, man. It's just a few various pedals we didn't get a chance to bring over. Um, basically, just run a GT6 on a loop station through the, um, through the Marshall 900 head. Um, that's the, the, the bulk of the effects, and then we just run external effects uh, around the top, which is just straight from the guitar before it gets to the amplifier. So, uh, DD20 uh, Giga Delay, which is great for multiple preset delay effects, obviously. A lot of analog effects as well. It's a digital pedal, but it's got the, the analog reciprocants. Uh, flanger, distortion, digital delay, DD3 for the analog, you know, you can dip, bend the pitch as you roll. Super octave for, obviously, octave effects. Uh, that rolls back to the station. Uh, Electro harmonic. These things are killer. Actually, mine was dead this, tonight. Didn't get a chance to use it, but normally do. Um, again, great for, for chorus and, and, and delay rolling sounds, man. These things are, are one of our favourites. Uh, piece of shit Behringer pedal that's surviving only just. Uh, I use that to control all the, all the MIDI stuff that we run through the, the 002 and the, and the rest of the if you want to bring that out and show us exactly what kind of wear and tear you're putting on this baby. Yeah, it's, um, it's seen better days, man. It's um, Actually, listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> they make them well. They make them well. Um, Small gaffer. Yes. <laughs> we love gaffer. We really do love gaffer. Uh, and a, a Roland GK pickup for the, the MIDI synth on the guitar we use uh, on a couple of songs. And, and just to launch general samples behind the music. You know, we don't like to oversample too much but you know it's nice to launch things in real time as opposed to keeping it on a click track we try to utilize that as much as possible and that's that's the bulk of it man okay and we also know that you're you know you're running a loop through uh reason correct and yeah, yeah. why don't you tell me about kind of what you're doing with that i guess because i mean when you're seeing it live i mean it is so cool how you're pulling this stuff off and i mean it's, it's seamless so why don't you tell us a little about what you're doing i mean i guess with your with your digital rig sure man I mean, in australia we use we've got two larger 16 rack units set up so we get to do a bit more like guitar effects and other bits and pieces we've cut the rig down for the international touring obviously for for freight and, and the cost of, of shipping it around the, the country or internationally um we use reason uh, rewired through through pro tools so we've got a chance to run eight in eight out we've cut that down to five in five out for the international touring system uh, we run a, a what's called a, a mallet catch as a Canadian xylophone instrument for, for playing um, vibraphone and xylophone samples. Got that real live piezo pickup, so they're great for, for impactual playing. Uh, we rewire obviously the guitar. We rewire through Reason with a whole bunch of samples. There's some FM, FM synths for songs like All I Know, the basic synth sound, and a whole bunch of other synths that we run off. Just general launching of effects. Um, we use the, the, the 1010. Still going, I think. Still going uh, for uh, launching samples and, and, and you know preordained samples and, and a few minor click tracks for smaller songs. But um, yeah, it's it's just it's great because it has multiple MIDI in, so we can just run a whole bunch of different trigger setups around the stage. Um, some are on the SPD, the, the, the drum pads. Some are on the guitar. Some are on the, the mallet cat. Some are on the guitars. It's, it's it's all just a big big mismatch, and it gives you a chance to, to launch things from from various places, which is cool. Yeah, it's it's a phenomenal live show, man. And you're playing all PRS, correct? Yeah, well, not all PRS. We mainly use PRS. We, we're, PRS are really good to us, and, and we love the guys there. We love the guitars. Paul Reed Smith's a beautiful guitars. We use Gibson's live as well, and on the recording, we obviously, you know, go for certain sounds. So we use a, a plethora of different guitars for certain tones and, and ranges. But live, with Paul Reed Smith are, are really good, good guitars for us, man. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely, man. Well, thank you for taking a couple minutes, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys.